So about half the children have parents in the United States. So as we started to interview the children, we asked them where their parents were. We asked them if they had their parents' telephone number. And, um, and most of the children have parents in the United States. Most of the children that I interviewed have children in the United States. And they had their parents' number either memorized or written on a bracelet around their arms or tucked into a piece of paper in their jacket. And so we asked them if they'd like to speak to their parents, if they had spoken to their parents. And many of these children had not spoken to their parents. And many of these children um, who had spoken to their parents had only spoken to them once. So what we did was we, we got the parents on the phone and started to find out what had happened. And many of these children are coming from Central America, particularly the Northern Triangle, which is El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Honduras. And they came to the United States with relatives. Um, this might be a parent, but it might be the entire family. We had one little girl who was separated from her mother, her father, and her young Younger, younger sibling. We had many children who had been separated from older siblings who are, uh, who are young adults. We had children who were separated from aunts and uncles and cousins. And then what's happening is they are being reclassified as unaccompanied children, even though they came across with relatives and have parents in the United States. Over 50 percent of these children last year were placed with their parents in the United States. Another 20-something percent were placed with other family members in the United States, and an additional approximately 15 percent were placed with other adults who are authorized by the parents to take care of them. So it's really very a very small percentage, about 12 percent of the children that uh, we meet with in these facilities who actually need to be in government custody. Every other child can be put on an airplane to their parents or their parents are willing to come and get them. We repeatedly talked to the parents who said, tell me where I need to send the money to bring my daughter to me, to bring my son to me. You know, they are, they are able to take care of their children. They want to take care of their children. The only thing that's standing between these children and their parents is the U.S. government. And I've described for you the horrendous conditions in which the U.S. government is, is keeping these children. It's, what? Uh, it's